Greetings, Commanders. In May, we introduced our first interstellar initiative, and it culminated with the development of an advanced multi-cannon, a new module capable of being loaded with anti-xeno rounds, suitable for taking on Thargoids. As we mentioned in our previous video, interstellar initiatives are a series of in-game events that utilize our existing in-game systems, such as community goals and scenarios, to provide narratives that, with the influence of commanders, can have lasting effects on the galaxy. We'd like to extend a big thank you to all of the commanders who've already shared their feedback with us. Let's take a quick look at the results of Bridging the Gap. The conflicts in the Sinuef region have now subsided, and Zende partners have taken back control after being threatened by corporate rivals Segnan Exchange. As part of Zende partners' pledge to create a new weapons module, they have now finished developing the advanced multi-cannon, which is available from outfitting at the Prospect. Zende partners will continue their operations in the system, with their megaship ferries The Conduit and Sadler's Song jumping between the system and Zende on a weekly basis. Commanders in the area will also continue to encounter various unidentified signal sources, allowing them to gather Guardian materials and commodities by either salvaging or pirating, as opposed to gathering goods from planetary surfaces. You can read more on the conclusion of Bridging the Gap over on the Elite Dangerous forums. However, now it's time to discuss our next interstellar initiative, the Enclave. But those of you who wish to experience the story as it develops should stop the video now as there are spoilers ahead. For the past few years, humanity has been harvesting the uniquely organic meta-alloys from structures known as barnacles. We now know that these barnacles were created by the Thargoid race and convert planetary resources into meta-alloys. However, word is spreading that the barnacle sites located in the Pleiades have begun to slow in the production of meta-alloys. Speculation suggests that humanity has over-harvested the area. In response, Aegis, a joint multinational research organization, has asked the galactic community to provide exploration data in the hope to discover an alternative source of this highly valued commodity. Of course, humanity are not the only race who collect meta-alloys. The Thargoids are highly territorial and have often reacted aggressively to human activity in their space. With a new crop of barnacles now at stake, how will the Thargoids react to this fresh disturbance? As the story unfolds, developments will be broadcast to you via Galnet. So stay tuned and be safe out there. See you in the black, Commanders.